Hi, lovely to have you here. Welcome to the Electro Revolution channel. My name is Michael and I'm a car and tech enthusiast. In today's episode, we're going to go through the console reboots. We're going to go through the user agreements and the terms and conditions. We're going to update the software applications within the system and we're going to go through the options and menus. I hope you find this video and this episode very informative. So reviewing the last episode, that went to completion of the OTA update and it finished with the banner screen at 1.40 successfully applied. And then the car had turned itself off. Now I had left the car during that time, I'd left the camera rolling, uh, only because it basically said 100 minutes uh, left to perform the OTA update. And I didn't want to sit around in the car just doing nothing. So when I had come back, the car was off. So this episode starts from when the car was turned on. Now, one thing, if you look back at the episode uh, three, what you'll find is when it said 30% with 73 minutes left, it actually dropped immediately to five minutes. So that was an interesting thing. It, when it says 73 minutes, it doesn't really mean 73 minutes, obviously. But again, this episode starts with me entering back into the car when it was off, when the update had finished, and now I'm turning it back on. Great. And now let's turn on the car to see where we're at with the vehicle. Okay, upgraded successfully. Your vehicle has been upgraded to the latest version 1.40. So these are all the new features we talked about. We'll click OK. And now the privacy statement. Of course, all the small print where we talk about all this stuff. How they collect data, privacy statement and so forth. Now this is all standard material, I'm sure. Now, of course, you can pause it and read it for yourself before you do the upgrade. Okay. Let's continue the process. And of course I agree. Also the user agreement, wow.
Not sure how we expected to read all of this while we're waiting in a car. Agree. So now we do see the bottom here has changed considerably since the older version. Okay, we do have that tilted screen here. It did keep my wallpaper, which I'm pleased about. We've got a notification. Voice package updates are available. Click to view the details. Okay, let's update the voice. Okay, let's connect to Wi-Fi. Interesting, how do I connect to Wi-Fi? Normally there was the vehicle icon here. That looks like a better menu. Now we can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi up here. Interesting, you can pause and play. You can pause the download. Sometimes you do things by accident and you actually find different features. Okay, now it's installing the English update. Great, it's been installed. Go back, no more notifications. So let's go back here. This does look considerably better. If we go to custom, I'm sure there are things in here we can move across like this. And we can replace those units. Replace those icons, I mean. Okay, that's interior lights off, interior lights on, and I can tell you that they actually work. So you've got to press each individual one. Ah, I like the seat adjustments and the ventilator, I use that quite often. That's that one there. That's excellent. And of course, I think you can hold on to this. And yes, you can move some of these things, delete some of these things. AC on and off, the recent tasks, seat adjustment, screen off, the ventilation only. Or move some apps there. Now let's see if there anything changed. Okay, we see here DVR. Now of course that was dash cam and it's currently in recording mode. Anything that's changed in the dash cam? I don't think so. I still get all these controls up here. If you want to watch that dash cam video I made earlier, I talked through all of this, the playback list, the settings, they all look similar. The themes look very similar. I don't know about this version number. I didn't check it before. Let's check 
wallpapers. And yes, they look very similar also. Ah, here's the settings. This is interesting. So this is temperature control. I'm sure you can still do the three finger swipe. If you three finger swipe that way for the fan speeds and up and down for the temperature. Of course, I don't need it on at this stage. Ventilated heating, air purification. I'm not sure what this Anion is. Interesting. It'd be good to revisit the video, just the original video to see if that was actually there as a previous option. So if we go straight from home, Ah oh yes, there's also these menus here. I certainly hope you enjoyed that episode and found it informative. Now, of course, we can go through much more comprehensive features and options and settings, but I think in this particular series, of, I'm covering the most important aspects of the OTA update. So there are more episodes coming. If you did like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment or share the video with someone that would be interested in it. There are more episodes coming, so I really hope to see you then. Until then, bye for now.